In today's video, we're taking a look at how to cook an egg on the microwave five different ways. Easy and simple. This is so simple, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you feel like having some eggs today, but you don't have the time to cook them in the stove. Or the only thing you have is a microwave. Don't worry, today here at the Stata Box team, we got your back. The first thing that you're gonna need is a microwave. The second thing, it's an egg. And third, you're gonna need a microwavable bowl. If you don't have that, you can use a mug that can be used in the microwave. And depending on which way you choose, you might need a plate that you can also place in the microwave. If you don't use a microwavable vessel, then this can easily become a movie for the Rambo series. The first way that we're gonna look at is the easiest of them all, and it's boiled eggs. And as you may imagine, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get the bowl, fill it with water until it covers the egg. Then we're gonna sprinkle in some salt. And we do this to help the egg not go kaboom. And then go from hungry to a mess in your microwave. And we mix it well. We go ahead and place the egg. We take the bowl to the microwave and depending on the wattage of your microwave, in our case, ours is 700. If you have a thousand watt or higher microwave, then you would put less time. Six to 10 minutes usually should do the job. In our case, we have to go the whole 10 minutes and we're gonna have the consistency of hard boiled eggs. If you want softer eggs, then you take out a minute from each consistency that you want. If you want medium hard, then you would do a minute less. If you want it more liquid, then you take out two minutes and so on. At the end of the day, you are the MacGyver of your numbers in the microwave. Because remember, each microwave is gonna act differently. And this is something that you're gonna get with time. Once the time is up, you can go ahead and remove the egg. If you wanna check out our video on how to peel an egg, easy and simple, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Now we're gonna take a look at the second way, and that's scrambled eggs. You can spray your bowl with cooking oil or use butter around it. We go ahead and place our eggs depending on how many you're gonna eat. We're gonna start with three. We add salt and pepper and we mix it well. We place a cover on the bowl. If you don't have a cover, you can use a napkin. A pro tip, using a napkin a little bit wet is gonna help with the moisture and avoid a kaboom which is the same effect of putting a cover. It doesn't let the moisture out and it helps to avoid a tragedy in the egg family. Hashtag save Humpty Dumpty. We go ahead and place it on the microwave and this can take from one minute to two minutes. The goal as in anything that you cook on the microwave is to take a peek at it once in a while, every 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or 45 seconds. If you can see through the window of your microwave, that's a big plus. At the halfway mark, which in our case is one minute, we're gonna take the eggs out and scramble them. You're gonna notice they're halfway cooked or almost cooked, and we're gonna place it back on the microwave. You can take a look at them in 15 second intervals, depending on how cooked you notice them when you took them out. Now that you played microwave ping pong, you're ready to enjoy. The third way is poached eggs. And this is very simple as well. We go ahead and place water on the vessel until it can cover a cracked egg. Once again, we put salt on the water to avoid unnecessary roughness on the field. Then go ahead and crack the egg inside the water. Before the egg drowns in pain, we go ahead and place it in the microwave. And we're gonna place two minutes on our microwave. If you notice, once you get the hang of it, it's basically the same numbers. It's just taking a peek from now and then to see how the process is going. At the one minute mark, we take a look at it, notice that that sucker is still alive and we nuke it a little bit more. Remember that taking anything out the microwave, meanwhile is hot, is always preferably good to wear any gloves or covering. As the greatest superhero to ever live, knowing you, these rules don't apply. You can transfer your creation to a plate, add some salt and pepper, and you're ready to enjoy. And this is the part of the video where we transition from bowls or mugs to plates. We go ahead and butter the plate or use cooking spray and we do this to prepare it for the other way to cook an egg on a microwave. And that's 
sunny side up. And this is super easy as well. You go ahead and crack the egg on the plate, preferably in the middle of the plate. Use your balancing skills to leave the egg in the middle. Meanwhile, you transfer it to the microwave and depending on your microwave, the time that you're gonna give it. In our case, we're gonna try with one minute, always peeking through the window to see what's going on. Something that we highly encourage not to do in real life, as you can see, is a soft sunny side up. If you want it a little bit harder, then you can give it an extra 15 seconds. And now we've come to the last way, and this is the almighty omelet. We're gonna show you the plain way to do it, but if you wanna add cheese, milk, vegetables, meats, remember, you are the king, queen, nun, both of your castle. We go ahead and place the egg on the bowl, place some salt and pepper. If you want your eggs a little bit fluffier, you can do half a teaspoon of milk or water. And now comes the most important part. You're gonna mix the egg very well. The better you mix, the more consistent color you're gonna have all around. If not, you're gonna have white and yellow spots everywhere. We butter the plate or use cooking spray and place our masterpiece creation in the plate. We take our artwork to the ovens to cook, place one minute on the timer, peek through the window, see how that's going, a technique that we notice that works with our microwave is once we notice it starts inflating that exact moment we stop it but if you like a wetter consistency you want to avoid getting to that point so opening your microwave at the 30 second mark or 45 second mark would be the way to go but in any of these ways to cook an egg on the microwave if you notice you need to give it an extra 15 seconds you can always do that that's why it's always good to look at your creation halfway through the cooking time opening the door and having a peek because as in adding salt in recipes once you add it you can't take it back so if you overcook it you may have a very dried egg or leave behind a mess for your partner kids roommate family members or friends to clean up don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.